Hey guys, this is Martin de Jong here, an ambassador of OPPO, and in this super quick video I'm going to show you how easy it is to flash custom ROMs and custom recoveries on your Find 7A smartphone. So keep in mind that this does not void your warranty, and it's super easy, so in only a couple of steps you'll be able to do this as well. So let's jump right into this. As you can see, I am running ColorOS 1.2.1 to begin with, and I have already backed up my apps and data using Titanium Backup, which you are advised to do as well. Before anything, you will have to connect your phone to your computer via USB. The first thing to do after that is installing the OPPO drivers. After plugging in the phone, you should see an icon in the file drawer for that as if it were a separate device. Double click it and install the drivers. After that, you'll have to download four files and you can find the links for all of them in the description of the video. The first file is called Android SDK Slim. The second one is a recovery image file. You have the choice of either CWM or TWRP from the link given below, and for this tutorial we will use TWRP, but the process should be the same for both recoveries. The third file is your custom ROM of choice. I'm using Gummy ROM for this demonstration, but you can choose any of the ROMs available for download from the XDA site in the description below. The last file will be the Google Apps. Make sure to check that the Google Apps that you download work for the Android version of the ROM that you're about to flash. In my case, Gummy ROM is built on top of Android 4.4.3, so I've chosen Google Apps built for Android 4.4.x. Next up, place the last two files, so the ROM of your choice and the corresponding Google Apps, on your phone. Now unplug the phone and turn it off. Once it's off, press the power button and the volume up button at the same time until you feel the vibration. Let go of the buttons right after that and you should see the word fastboot appear on your screen. After that, plug the phone back in again. Once that's done, extract your Android SDK Slim file, which will leave you with a folder named Android SDK Windows. Take the IMG file of the recovery and press copy. Open the Android SDK Windows folder, then open the platform tools and paste the IMG file right here. Now press and hold down the shift button and move your cursor to some blank field in the folder. Right click while holding shift down and then choose open command window here. This should open up, well, you've guessed it, a command window. First type in fastboot devices and hit enter. You should be able to see something like this. If you don't, you should try reinstalling the drivers and then restarting your PC. Next up, type in fastboot flash recovery and then the file name that you want to flash. It is enough to type in the first few characters and then you can hit tab which will finish the name for you. Once you have the name typed in, hit enter and wait for the process to finish. The next thing to do will be unplugging your phone and not rebooting it. If you reboot now, ColorOS will flash back the OPPO recovery automatically and you will have to start all over again. Instead, press and hold the power button and the volume down button until you feel the vibration and then let go of them. This will take you to the new recovery you have just flashed. Here you should first wipe data and cache. Second, you will want to flash the ROM which we have just downloaded. Selecting the option to install from SD card and opening the folder where you have placed your ROM and Google Apps, you can now choose the ROM first, which in my case is this file right here. Proceed with the installation and wait for it to get ready. Third, it is very likely that you will want to flash Google Apps, so again navigate into the folder and now flash the Google Apps. Once those are done, you can reboot into your custom ROM. Some custom ROMs like Gummy ROM, which I have installed here, are even rooted by default, so you won't have to deal with that separately. So that's it, you're done. So that was it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Google Plus if you want to see more content like this. All the links are in the description below and see you in the next one.